Hey guys, it's a girl Mel Walker Talker and I am back with another video. It has been a while but I'm back. So I was sent a message from Shania's teacher to come by and pick up some worksheets. But it's mandated that you have to wear a mask. And even if I go out and buy a mask, I still need to wear a mask in order to do that. So at home I'm doing a DIY mask in which I'm using a sock where I remove the toe portion as well as the heel portion of the sock to be left with a rectangular portion in which I'll be using to meet the sock. During this time, there's a lot of uncertainties and a lot of I don't have the materials or I don't have this and I don't have that. Do some DIYs. Get out of your comfort zone. Try something new. And even though I need this mask for tomorrow in the morning, I know that as long as I try, and even if it doesn't come out the way you want it to, at least you tried. So I want to let you know that the Bible commends the use of your hands. In Ephesians 4 verse 28, the last portion, it tells you that whenever you labor with your hands and do it, do it with your ability to the best of your ability and help others so i don't know which of you this who are this diy can help but if it does comment down below and tell me that well you know i needed to go out and buy a mask but before i can even go to buy the mask i need to be wearing a mask so this is a quick diy tip for you guys out there so now i'm going to cut up on either side about half inch to the middle in order to create the straps or uh what do you call that portion that you put around your ears i'm not really sure at the moment but thank you guys for watching and remember to give a thumbs up and in this time please 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 follow the necessary precautions stay safe god bless